As St. Charles and St. Luke began our merger process, there are certain things that we need as parishes to specifically look at. And some individuals are questioning, well, why do we have to change the name? But we go back to that phrase, what is in a name? Name gives us identity. Name gives us the whole concept of who we are. And over the next few weeks, I'm inviting the parishioners, both of St. Charles and St. Luke, to prayerfully consider what the merged name will be for our two communities. Because that gives us our identity. That tells the rest of the world who we are. So prayerfully consider certain options. Think about the commonality between both parishes and how we would like to put our best foot forward in determining who and what we will be called by. We're never going to lose St. Charles. We're never going to lose St. Luke. That's a part of our past. But the new name is going to determine what we are going to be for the Boardman community moving forward. The second item that I draw your attention to is the importance of the Parish Pastoral Council. Sometimes we think of parish councils or pastoral councils as the governing body of the parish. But as we begin this merger process, the parish pastoral council is the envisioning body, the envisioning of who we will become. So prayerfully consider whether or not you're able to devote some time, some energy, to be a part of that community, to be a part of that council. We need everybody's help as we move forward to make the parish of St. Luke and St. Charles a very dynamic, visible presence in our community. We're going to pray that we will be one. We're going to pray that the Spirit of God will direct us in making a visible presence, a dynamic presence in our community. Hello everyone, I'm Natalie Wardle, the Director of Youth and Young Adult Ministry. I just wanted to take a few moments to give you an update on those two ministries at St. Charles in June. So first of all, Saturday, June 8th is our rain date for the Sleep in Heavenly Peace bed build. You may have remembered that we were going to do this in April. We had to postpone it due to rain. And so we're finally getting to do it here Saturday, June 8th. Any young person grades 7 through 12 is welcome to join us. We encourage families to do this together. It's a wonderful experience. A lot of fun. The time goes by quickly. We, we start at 9 a.m. and we go till about noon in the parking lot here next to the ministry building. You are welcome to join us. I just ask that you would contact me for a release form and more information about what to expect. But we'll be building 20 beds for young people in our area who do not have a bed in which to sleep. So it's definitely a worthy cause, but it's also a fun and community building event. Also on June 9th, our young adults will be hosting coffee and donuts. We invite uh, the parishioners to come in after mass and join us there. And also you'll have the opportunity to buy raffle tickets for our parish picnic and also reserve a place for yourself at that parish picnic. On June 23rd, the youth ministry will be offering some games for younger children. Uh, up on the hill during the picnic, and then also providing volleyball and disc golf and bocce for teens and the young at heart. So please make sure you join us for that. Our Young Adult Rec League has concluded with bocce and will be beginning today, June 3rd, uh, with volleyball at St. Robert's in Cortland. And so any young adult ages 20 through about 40 are welcome to join us for that at 7 p.m. We'll continue on Monday nights all the way through July 8th with volleyball. And finally, our youth ministry will be headed to the Summer Youth Conference at the end of June. We have seven youth and two adults going with us. We just ask that you would keep us in your prayers 
and call upon the Holy Spirit to, to bless our time there and draw us near to our Lord. It could be a very powerful experience. And so we hope to be bringing back a lot of good things from that conference to the parish. Thank you and God bless. Hi, I'm Karen Stazak, Coordinator of Ministries. Coming up on Sunday, June 23rd, we're having our annual outdoor mass in the parking lot, followed by our raffle drawing, and new this year is a parish picnic. There's gonna be food, um, music with a four-piece band, outdoor games, and dime bingo. We'll have tables and chairs under the tent, but feel free to bring your own lawn chairs so you can move around and um, have more flexibility. Um, for planning purposes, please RSVP. You can do this either through the parish website, there's a link, or the QR code that's in the bulletin, or on the first two weekends in June, June 1st and 2nd and 8th and 9th, we will be taking RSVPs after all of the masses. And on the, the Saturday the 8th and the Sunday the 9th, we will have coffee and donuts that's hosted by our young adult ministry. And we will um, be also selling raffle tickets. So it'll be a picnic week, a pre-picnic weekend. Also, planning is in progress for our 100th anniversary in 2026. I know that seems like a long time away, but it will be here before you know it. We have committees working on the Mass and Gala celebration, community service, cultural, educational and spiritual, social media data, and summer events. Each of these committees have exciting ideas, but we need more involvement from each of you. Many hands make light, light work. Please contact me if you have an interest in any of these different groups, and I will get you in contact with the committee chairs. Thank you. Hi everyone, my name is Erica Galvin, and I'm the Director of Communications here at St. Charles Borromeo. Just wanted to come on here and update a few guys on a few quick things. First, the Can You Hear Me campaign. As of May 20th, we are a little bit behind because of the Memorial Day holiday, um, so we're not up to date with numbers just yet. But as of May 20th, we are at $48,514.05, which is 88% of our goal of $55,000 when it comes to our sound system. Again, everything is installed. Um, we're still adjusting a few things. Um, we're getting some random static here and there, so we're just trying to troubleshoot that. So again, we appreciate your patience as we make the adjustments accordingly, but as of right now, everything is installed. Um, if you guys do have any issues of hearing or if there's some kind of issue, please give me a call at the parish office or email me um, so that we can address those issues accordingly and swiftly. Um, again, we do ask, because we're only at 48,000, 88%, so we need 12 more percent, to please prayerfully consider giving with your yellow envelopes um, for the next couple months. That way we can attain our goal of $55,000. Secondly, the one thing I wanted to um, speak with you about is our 100th anniversary. As we approach it in, in the next upcoming two years, um, we are asking parishioners to go through their old photo albums to look for any vintage images, any kind of photos that you would like to share with us at, the, at, at St. Charles. Um, we ask you to put them in an envelope, write your name, your phone number, and a brief description of those photos so we know what they are, what date they're from. Um, we'd like to scan them, put them in our archive, and maybe possibly use them come the 100th anniversary in some form or another. So again, you can drop the envelope off in, in the collection basket. You can drop it off at the parish office. When we're done scanning them digitally and putting them in our archive, we'll give you a call and you can come pick them up. Um, so please go through your f old photos. You might think an old photo is from, you know, 1965. No, we're looking for anything from 1990, from 2010, 2020, if there was any photos, if anybody did anything during the pandemic, but we're looking for any kind of archive photos that share the story of the parishioners here at St. Charles Borromeo. So please go through your old photo albums and uh, share them with all of us because we love seeing those old photos of either Father Rice, Monsignor Barden, um, Father Dan, Monsignor Zura, anything, Father Rogers, anything that shares the story of us. So with that being said, I hope you have a blessed June and we'll see you back here in July.